Well, COVID-19 infection numbers are falling. Doctors say eligible kids should still be vaccinated. State health leaders will spend the summer encouraging more parents to get kids 12 and older vaccinated before school starts in the fall. NBC 15's Justin Moore lets us know the concerns some parents have about the shot. Justin? Yeah, um, the state uh, state health leaders have a hard task ahead of them uh, because only one third of the entire population in Alabama is vaccinated, which means a lot of adults are not vaccinated either. Dr. Katrina Skinner is a pediatrician in Fairhope. She administers COVID vaccines out of her office to children 12 and older. We've been vaccinating adults in our office since um, I think January. She says many parents come into her office with concerns about the vaccine's side effects on kids and how it would damage their reproductive cells. There's no scientific evidence to back that up. Um, this vaccination does not affect the reproductive cells of the child's body, but parents are still worried about that because they've seen, um, you know, talk about that on social media. According to Alabama Deputy Health Officer Dr. Karen Lenders, during the first week the Pfizer vaccine was available to kids 12 to 15, almost 5,000 kids across the state were vaccinated. There are actually already a number of efforts to go ahead and get vaccine for children this summer so that kids do not have to wait until fall. Lander says some communities are taking vaccine mobile units to school sites and more pediatricians are giving out shots. She said it would be wise for parents to go ahead and get kids vaccinated before they participate in summer camps. Just the, the overall benefit of not spreading this disease to the rest of the population, it's absolutely critical that we vaccinate in this age group right now. Now, keep in mind, it takes about five weeks to get fully vaccinated. That's why doctors are urging parents to go ahead and get kids vaccinated right now. Greg?